Yo, we back in the building again with the villains It's your boy Boomy Trill Figure from the Braggadocious Podcast And I'm back with my co-host 87 Kenny Mack From the Bigger Brother Podcast And guess what, I got my boy Jawan Out here killing the game Jawan, Making Nino. songs with LaBelle Rubber Band You know, it's Nino. You know what I'm saying no, it's Nino, Oh, it's man. Nino now? My it's bad Nino. His name is Nino now My bad, he switched it You know it's what I'm saying oh, They say it's been Nino My bad, he switched it You know what I'm saying Man, you crazy, man. Why I gotta be crazy? Mm-hmm. Man, your boy said my, my name, man. Your government name? Yeah. That ain't your government name? Yeah. Your name is, how you say it in French? Mm-hmm. Just one Skinner? Uh, J1. 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 Okay. We're gonna call you Juan Pablo, okay? Uh, all right, cool, cool. <laughs> Whatever you wanna call yourself. I feel it, bro. Okay, okay, man. So, man, man, we've been gone for a while, man. Last thing we talked about was, uh, you know, the Kanye and uh, Kyrie everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That was crazy. We're not going to go back there because that was very, you know, a political thing. And, you yeah. know, it did its thing. But uh, we do got to acknowledge uh, that the Astro won. Let's, let's, let's yeah. go through the good things right now. And the Astros won, you know, we took it home all the way. Yeah, we did. Everybody went and party downtown, got drunk, got silly. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Matches mad one seventy five uh, m. He will bear the you know from the airplane to his car wherever he went. He made seventy five m yeah. off, off of ten million. Off of ten million. Yeah, it was a, yeah. But I'm thinking that we're better. That was seventy five million. That'd be way more. Say, bro, we're talking bear. to Mike, bro. We ain't having this. <laughs> like be, the hell. That'd be that'd be way that'd be way more the real bear than seventy five million. That more like a million. He had that real that real bear. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that sound way better. You yeah. talk into the mic. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, but nah, th- that wheelbarrow is just one part of the money. It was some more money. You remember he was wheel, he was wheelbarrow in the back and forth. He was just doing that for the like the camera. He too old to be wheelbarrowing some money. Yeah, yeah. He, um, ain't he a hundred? Nah, he probably in his eighties. Nah, he ain't eighties. I think he's like ninety something. Uh, I think he in his eighties. Is I'm tripping? What, bro? If he ninety something, he ain't pushing nothing. What are you talking about? It's an extra sound. Yeah, I'm I hear it too a little bit. Can you hear me? No, we can hear you. I'm just saying some rubbing or something. You hear that? It don't matter. Yeah, but that's the air condition. It could be. Yeah, the air condition. It could be because I'm right here. I guess so. You ain't never seen um what's that what's that movie called? You know it's hard out here. Yeah, it kill all the sound. <laughs> money for the rent. The boy, the boy, um, him tonight. The Anthony Anderson character's like, do you? No, hear his that? name is Lucius. No, man, I'm talking about Anthony. Anderson We're talking about like, Lucius. Yeah, he called you Anthony Anderson, man, the fat boy. Yeah, oh, you, said, you know, you know that that's your favorite actor. He oh, said, "Y'all got 71. the TV on." What? What about man? Seventy-one. He's seventy-one. Damn, I thought he was a hundred years old. <laughs> God <laughs> damn, that boy crazy. Ain't about old as your mama. He cool. Damn, my damn. mama ain't no seventy-one years old. Daddy was sixty-two. Mama seventy, bro. No, she ain't. Okay. You ain't gonna talk about my mama on this podcast, man. All right, man. I don't know what you're doing. Surprise, motherfucker. Oh, he said he had $10 million in the wheelbarrow. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah but he put up $10 million to get $75 million. Man, yeah. I ain't, yeah. Shit, I ain't mad at him. He should have called me. I would have helped him push that shit. Yeah, some money would have came on me. So say, man, we did I, our calculations. Man. Kenny, come here. We got to come talk to you real quick. I ain't going to lie. I would push his old ass out the way if the nigga went running. Oh, <laughs> get, but, let me get two bags. <laughs> but uh, I did some I did some street research. Mattress Matt did give out free mattresses, mattresses but this how, it ha- this how it went. You had to be on a, uh, I guess, lease to own program uh, for your mattress and pretty mm-hmm. much after after he won the seventy five million, he mm-hmm. refunded everybody that was making payments on their mattresses, and they got free mattresses. See, I thought you had to five, spend five thousand, mm-hmm. and then he gave you a free mattress. Maybe that's another mm-hmm. uh, uh, option he gave people. But from what I heard, everybody was doing payments. You know what I'm saying? They uh they got all their money back for their payments. And they got the free mattress. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's dope. He all they did was they, he probably did the tax. He did that for the taxes for that seventy five million. Probably. probably that's the tax write off. 
Who? You know yeah, because he gave away so much money, so he took a loss. Yeah, that, you know that's called depreciation. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that so makes he, a lot of yeah, sense. Okay, yeah. I ain't thinking about that. Yeah, because he t- he took a loss on his business. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. So he'd be like, yo, I gave out all this stuff, so that's a loss. Because you know when you make uh donations and stuff like that, you know you can put that on your taxes. No, I ain't know mm-hmm. that. You know How many donations you put on your taxes? Yeah, you can put that on your taxes. Uh, uh, look, uh, I'm not in that tax bracket yet. What I give away, it ain't enough to make a difference on my taxes. Oh mm-hmm. man! So shout out to Master Mac, man. It's called you know. tax write off. That's why I don't know. You be doing that too? You got a uh, schedule C and shit too, huh? You be schedule C and your stuff, huh? Your taxes? Uh, sometimes, yeah. Okay. So sometimes, sometimes you don't, huh? Yeah, sometimes some money just slip through the cracks. Yeah, sometimes. Okay. His name is not Juwan or just Juan. His name is Nino. Yeah. 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 That's that's what I that's what I like about um like the Jewish community and stuff like that. They actually teach each other how to do stuff in business. Like 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 a lot of black people. I feel like we we look at like people like Puffy and stuff like that, like they the big businessman and Jay Z, right? Uh-huh. But then you don't really learn nothing, you know what I'm saying? And then when you got people like you know what I'm saying, Mattress Madden and the rest of them from another community, they know a lot, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, and yeah. they ain't that they ain't the smartest. It's because they got people who working with them together, mm-hmm. and they you know what I'm saying. With us, I feel like with us it can only be one that rise to the top, and then everybody else at the bottom. But with other communities, they rise together. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I feel like Like the black church really dropped the ball on because, like, back in the day, that was a school. The church was a school. The church was a lot. But now the black, now I see, like, it's like a money pit. You know, you want the preacher want to look good and everything else, but you're not pouring back into the community. Like, I feel like you should be pouring back into a forest knowledge-wise. Yeah, we're going to say sub-churches, huh? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I know other churches uh, They doing uh, Different community programs And stuff like that And you gotta ask yourself Are people applying themselves To go to these programs And actually seek out the knowledge Cause you know what I mean A lot of y'all sit at home A lot of y'all don't do research On like what's out there And mm-hmm. there's a lot out there You know what I'm saying So I'm not gonna say That we are not really doing it But it's probably not Pushed as hard as like Hey Did you know Cause I, cause I know me myself I do a lot to when I receive knowledge, I spread it all around, and I be like, "Oh, you, did you know you could do this? You can do that. You do that." So I think it's it's our responsibility at the same time as is the community that we need to um, uphold and we need to hold to the chains and be like, "Say, hey, when you get knowledge, spread it. You know, get let us know. You know what I'm saying? Help me get to the next level because I see mm-hmm. a lot of um, crab in a buckle, uh, crab in a bucket effects. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You you know, Juwan, you you from Louisiana? You know, you know about that crawfish. <laughs> you watched that crawfish die a, a couple times. Yeah, bro, it's called crabs in the bucket. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you seen that crab try to hold mm-hmm. on to that metal pot? I ain't yeah. going in the water. Yeah, no, no, that's really a mentality like that. So I agree with you on that part. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you on that part. Yeah, but I mean, like I say, we gotta do our part and do what we can to get to get to, get to that next level. Mm-hmm. It's actual factual. You're not lying. You're not lying. Yeah. Any more thoughts about you know. Oh, Match and Mac? Oh, no, that was in your thought. Okay, I thought you had some, some other Oh, no, nah, man, like, shoot. The hood, man. The hood mentality, man. Everybody want to play hate on you. Well, you know, I don't even call it the hood mentality. Play you know, hood mentality is a lack of knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because, you know, a lot of us don't have the knowledge. And, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And a lot of us don't never this. Like, an old boy was saying... Seek it out, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But at the same time, it's like you got a lot of people that, man, breaking this hell right in the hood, mm-hmm. doing stuff. Because I heard about this one guy, right, in California, that he used to make his own speakers to put in the trunk before it was a thing, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he was one, he one learned how to make uh, the fake money and put some type of stuff on it. So mm-hmm. when you put the mark on it, it the marker won't say it's fake. Mm-hmm. It was real back in the day, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And he became a multi-millionaire in the hood like that. Mm-hmm. But he ended up getting, uh, you know what I'm saying? He ended up getting caught up. But he did mm-hmm. it smart, though, because he was pushing all his money through the uh, the fake money, through the gangs. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I, it's, it's, it's a lot of smart people in the hood, but, man, it feel Thanks. like we can do more. Oh no, we could do we could do a lot more, but at the same time, I feel like we gotta seek the knowledge and, and want and want to learn because uh, it's a lot of it's like uh, we talked about this long a, a while back ago. Uh, you know what I'm saying? That a lot of people they don't they don't believe it until they see it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, mm-hmm. You know, Jawan could come up to you and be like, "Say, bro, I could teach you how to make beats. I'm making millions." Mm-hmm. But then you are gonna look at Jawan and be like, "Sure, buddy." 
And then Jawan gonna be like, all right. And next thing you know, Jawan balling on you. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? He got four, five bad women. <laughs> Rolls Royce outside. Crazy. And now you wondering how he did it. Mm-hmm. And now you running to him talking about, oh, Jawan, you my boy. Show me some love. But Jawan, I can't, I don't got time to show you no love. You know why? Mm-hmm. Cause you wasn't you wasn't ready to receive the information when I was ill. Yeah. And we get a lot of that going on. Yeah. Instead yeah. of being like, now you ready to receive the information because you see me balling in the mix. Come on, go ahead and, and, and teach you. And then we don't got the mentorship programs no more where it's like, I put yeah. you on, yeah. but I need 25% of your money. Yeah. Or I need 10% of your money. Or I'm saying, oh, it ain't got to be anything dealing with a cut of money, but it got to be some type of respect there well, and not fear, the respect. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, the way I see stuff is like, um, it was a guy I was watching, right? He said mentorships. You shouldn't have to pay for them because people want to put other people in their industries mm-hmm. that look like them. Yeah, and the pocket watcher. He I legendary. See, I see a lot of Hispanics do that. When they get a job, they mm-hmm. get the whole family on. When it, it's different when you look at you know another community. They be like, machine, I ain't getting my cousin on. That nigga don't like to work. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, you mm-hmm. got to look at it, though. We be mad at the other community. They flooded in. They got brother, sister, cousin, everybody working there. You wondering why you losing your job. Cause now he, his kin folk is manager, somebody else, this is somebody that. But, so we can't afford to cut nobody, but, but we can cut yeah. you. But that's a that's a true yeah. statement. Because you know why? I, I like what you say that. Because uh, at uh, at the feds, at Federal Rail, I want to say the whole thing because you know, we worked there. But at the feds, right? Oh, you work for the feds? Yeah, uh, for the feds. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't, don't. Uh, yeah, but watch out for you know braggadocious. We coming up. Yeah, but anyway, yeah, you uh, 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 fit. yeah. I'm like, this the other thing. This the other thing I hate. This the, this the other thing I hate on by by being on like podcasts. <laughs> you know, on the side track real quick. Uh-huh. Why why y'all get all scary when I say the feds? If you ain't doing crime, you ain't gonna do no time. Uh-huh. So stop worrying about if I'm the feds or not. You know what I'm saying? And this ain't Vlad. Don't say nothing you don't want to say. Because it's you know in our blood. Huh? It's in our blood. No, see, it's, see, and that's, trauma, and that's, and that's hold on, hold on. trauma is in the blood. See, if your ancestors Bruh, been traumatized a lot, by these a, men. A lot, of y'all, a lot of y'all ain't been to the regular police station and y'all talking about the feds. <laughs> Man, I don't want to hear that. Knock it off. Some of us got legendary you know records. Saying? They ain't never did a crime, uh, uh, but got a record. A lot of y'all got tickets, <laughs> regular tickets. Man, I was locked up because you know, he had tickets. You not a criminal. Got to build my brothers at. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm but saying, anywho, I'm you know, saying. back when I was saying, now we can't be mad, and, the, and and that's true about you know the black community because I mean, in my in our experience, we have we have had heard people say, "I will get my cousin on, but he bullshitting." Mm-hmm. I will get my homie on, but he bullshitting. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The other community, Sosa, he told me straight up. He didn't got all his kids on at the feds. He got all, he got his brother, sister, and all them at the feds. Mm-hmm. And, at the, and at the thing you got to accept, everybody not gonna stay there, and everybody not gonna make it. Mm-hmm. So it's cool. But once you get them in the job, then in the door, you did your part. Mm-hmm. Now if they leave and go do something else, that's cool. Because I did it. I didn't had. I didn't. I didn't got. It. The big homie on, the little homie on, the other homie on, my cell phone, and we was all on. Now I can't be mad if people start falling off. It's a part of the game. You can't you can't expect to get ten people on and nobody decide to be like, I'm gonna find find something different. Mm-hmm. That's how the game go. But they gotta be able to see the opportunity and have a game plan on what they want for themselves in their life. You know what I'm saying? And then too, I feel like the young people now. You know what I'm saying? Like that's one thing about like I appreciate my father for right. I'm a father. It's like, what man, are you I talking remember, about, I man? Remember, I remember, you know, when I was Saturday <laughs> morning, my big ass got up, pulled a big ass bowl of cereal and shit, right? I'm getting ready to watch my Saturday morning cartoon. Hey, this nigga will come. I thought he was at work. Say, man, you need to cut the yard, do this, do this. I was like, God damn it. God damn it, you're going to just mess up my whole Saturday. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. When I come back, I'm on the yard, cut this, this. I was like, all right, fuck it, I'm going to do this. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Then the next day, I went to work with him. The next day, I went to work with him again. We cutting yards, we doing this, we doing that. And I feel like a lot of people, you know, I raised for like, let's say, let's say you raised by a single mother, right? Mm-hmm. So you ain't had that man in your life who made you do shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. She let your ass sit in the room, play your video games, do whatever the hell you wanted to do, and you ain't had nobody who really pushed you to do other shit. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like me, most of my time when I get out of school, I was sitting there having my father with his business, doing mm-hmm. this, doing that. You know what I'm saying? And I hated it because I didn't look the flyers. You know what I'm saying? I remember it was a fine girl at school. We used to go <laughs> cut her yard. She going to look at me I'm like, damn. You fucking my rap up. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She was like, oh, this is what you do. I was like, damn, yeah, girl. <laughs> I feel it. I feel it. <laughs> but you know what, though? It, you know, 
when I go to other when I go to other jobs and people are like, oh, this job hard, this job hard. Da, da, da. I'm like, shit, this job ain't hard. You don't got to work in the sun burning. I remember I went to somebody backyard, dressed myself wet. Man, thirty minutes to an hour later, I'm dry, burning in the sun. You know what <laughs> I'm saying? Yeah. I was light skinned. I was yellow before I got burnt. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all boys <laughs> need light skin story, man. Hey, hey, that's why I say, man, there's a lot of people in every community that's lazy. I feel like the new generation is kind of lazier than the old generation, you know, and people don't want to be out here working no more. Mm-hmm. Then you got these people come in from all, from other communities, and, man, they be like, you know what, we'll take them little paying jobs. We're going to get everybody on. We're going to take over. Because, like, now, like, you can look at fast food. Fast food used to be us. Mm-hmm. Now you see more of them. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Everybody taking over. And you got to think about it, bro. That's the only way you build a real strong community. You take over every job in your community. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that way you can take that money and start up. Uh, uh, I forget. What's them people call? They go to Congress and stuff, and they lobbyists. They lobbyists. Indeed, Black people don't have lobbyists. No. We don't have lobbyists for our rights and stuff like that. We supposed been had reparations. Yep. We ain't got none of that. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to say we don't got it. I think we, I mean, I know we do got lobbyists and stuff like that, but the thing about it, we don't have a strong, a strong, we don't have a strong set of, 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 of they don't, we don't, they don't have, never have no good backing from what I be hearing. You know what I'm saying? Well, what I see for political is, political wise, we really don't have no lobbyists. And what that mean is, you got to look at, like, 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 say, um, like, like the people in the oil, right? Like, uh, man, I can't think of it. Saudi Arabia. They got over like 700 lobbyists, I heard, or 70 lobbyists, right? Mm-hmm. And they all lobby for oil, right? And you got to think about other communities got lobbyists who lobby for their rights and lobby for this, lobby for that. In the black community, we getting shot down to do this. But, yeah, we produce most of the entertainment budget in America. Mm-hmm. When you think of America, you don't want to come to America. The, the, what you see on television, you see because black people make it look cool. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We the entertainment for America. I feel like we should take some of that money and put it into politics. And so tell these politicians, like, look here, bro. Mm-hmm. We need to get this passed, that passed, that passed. Because there ain't no reason why every 70 years we got to get uh, uh, reinstated to vote. You say you say I'm a citizen of this country. How the hell we the only population every 70 years we got to gotta come up to a vote to, for, to give us uh, our, our voter rights. You know what I'm saying? To renew our voting rights. That don't make sense. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Shoot, I feel like, you know, we need some type of reparation. I'm not ain't saying money. Mm-hmm. Shit, I'll take a state. <laughs> Give me a state. All black people move to this one state. You know what I'm saying? We'll take a state. Because I feel like we all need to get together, the people who were born from slavery, and we have our own state. Mm-hmm. And um, we, can, we can sit there and get our problems straightened out because I feel like black people ain't going to never get our problems straightened out because we have too many people come from, who look like us, come from other parts of the world. Mm-hmm. We're like, man, we ain't down with that shit. Because you don't know our struggle. You don't know that our ancestors got their ass kicked so you can vote, so you can do this. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. when we was going through the struggle, y'all niggas weren't coming over here in droves. Y'all was like, nah, mm-hmm. we straight. <laughs> mm-hmm. Man. Yeah, it's facts, though. You said some real stuff. You dropped some gems. Yeah, he turned this to like the Bigger Brother podcast. He mm-hmm. <laughs> Where Ronnie is? Ronnie Lee didn't come bring his What's ass on. But anyway, man. Nah, I mean, no, nah, for sure. No. Nah. I mean, yeah. I mean, I respect it. You know what I'm saying? You're right. Yeah, I thought we was going to talk know. about Kanye. Ain't nobody brought up Kanye. No, because you, you, you should have you should been here with, when uh, Shogun was here. He went to Atlanta. You should have been here when he was here. Y'all could have argued about that. Nah, you know I'm, I mean? man, I'm, I'm not arguing about nothing. Because like at the end of the day with Kyrie, I agree with Kyrie because you know what? How can we be anti-Semitic when we all, our religion come off of what? The Jewish religion, right? Jesus was a Jew. He made the Christian religion, right? So that means we're a sub-religion off of Jews. So that means, technically, we is Jews. You know what? Mm-hmm. I hope y'all free later on in there. I'll get uh, your cousin. Huh? You know what I'm I gotta get your cousin because he supposed to talk about this. You know and saying? I said early in the podcast in the beginning, I'm yeah. like, we did that last part. We're going to mm-hmm. tell. So. We gonna chill, yeah. We off to the bad news. We off to the bad news, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But what, before we head to the bad news, uh, from our sponsors. What's up? What's up? What's up? It's your boy Nino. Yeah, I, I just dropped my single that. Bloodline, and now you're listening to Braggadocious Podcast. Braggadocious. <laughs> What's up? This is your boy Five Two from the Crack in the Eighties Podcast, and you're now listening to 
Braggadocious with Boomy Trail Figure. Cheer! Crack, crack! Hey, y'all, we back. We're about to go on to the second. I don't know if the second. Let me not say second. Cause that's our labeling shit. We're going to just be confused. But, you know, take off. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Take off. No, RP take off. Take off. Uh, went bowling with Quavo. He went bowling with Quavo. Take oh, yeah. off. I mean, take off went bowling with Quavo and J, oh, yeah. uh, uh, Jay Prince Jr. And they went to the bowling thing down there, downtown Houston. Mm-hmm. Was it the birthday party they went to, right? Yeah. It was Jay Prince's birthday party yeah, okay, uh, type yeah. thing, you know what I'm saying? Junior, yeah. And uh, mm-hmm. sad case, was the, uh, the party went south and um, take off uh, lost his life in, uh, I guess, back and forth gunfire yeah. between the two uh, parties. Yeah. So uh, we started to hear that. You know what I'm saying? We lost a Motown. Uh, 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 Motai, the Grammy mm-hmm. Award women, uh, Gra- Grammy Award winning artist, mm-hmm. and uh, you know it's sad that you know he came to Houston for a good time and ended up losing his life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Same, any man. any thoughts and uh, concerns? Same. Y'all want to convey about the situation? Yeah, man. I was like, man, you know, Kodak was out here too. I was like, dang, man. You know, man, it's kind of too bad, man. It's kind of will have like a light for other artists to be in Houston. I feel like it will be because, you know, it's going to be precautious now. I remember I was watching something on YouTube. It said Houston would be so caught up with the street politics. That's why it's kind of like we're kind of backwards with the music scene and all that. And um, Houston is like new L.A. That's what they said. Nah, Houston ain't going to be L.A. <laughs> That's what they said. Because my boy right here, he went to L.A. and became the king. That's what you say all the time. And one day, <laughs> one day. he robbed Pizza Hut off the plane. <laughs> Ain't nobody can rob piece. Nobody can come to a city and rob Pizza Hood to make it to their uh, the, uh, the auntie house. And then the police be like, "We know you robbed Pizza Hood." Yep. And he's like, "I ain't robbed Pizza Hood, auntie. Go get my plane ticket." And guess what? Yep. He got to stay. You seen that movie, The One with Jet Lee? I think that was probably <laughs> like that. In a city of a thousand gang members, like, what you got talking about me for? He was the one. I just came for the plane. Uh, that, that show you how corrupt they city is, but. Yeah, you know they got deputy they, gangs out there, yeah. like police gangs. I think mm-hmm. them gangs everywhere because mm-hmm. you know it ain't just one. They all go and train all over the United States. Mm-hmm. Like police officers from Texas, they go to California and train. Who told you that? Oh, when my experience happened, dude was from Dallas. How you know? Because he told me. I don't believe mm-hmm. that lie. Oh no, 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 no. They no, be no, saying no, that no, to no, get no, cool. No, no. He's from another. He was from another uh, station in Dallas getting trained. How they do stuff up there? Mm-hmm. How, uh, let, let me let me put you on a little history. You should bro. join the police force. The Ku Klux Klan came from the south and now went up, went up to the California. Huh? Man, how are we gonna talk about you know the Ku Klux Klan? We talking about takeoff? Mm-hmm. Okay, yo. Oh yeah, he yeah, went yeah. left okay. again. Yeah, okay, this is why you gotta you steer okay. the conversation yeah. right. Okay, back to take he off. went political. Back yeah. to take off. You know, man. Look, I'm talking about takeoff. I feel like <laughs> somebody talked the Ku Klux Klan. I feel like that whole situation. Wait, 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 wait. We from takeoff, man. Talk about the goddamn Ku Klux Klan, bro. We talking about some braggadocious, man. He traveled. He traveled the Big Brother podcast. Hey, he traumatized over here. Damn, man. Let's talk about, let's talk about takeoff, man. Damn, man, man, y'all don't ask me hey, for my experiences. I, then you want to go back to your subject. And hey, he didn't went to the Hebrew That's Israelites. What we talking about? We talking the about that? We talking about takeoff? Say, man. Real talk though. I feel like in that situation, that's a sad situation. But then too. A lot of young black men get killed like that. You know what I'm saying? Facts. And we got to learn how to talk our situations. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, hey, man, you know, I hate to say it like this, but shit, niggas afraid to fight anymore. Niggas afraid mm-hmm. to take that ass whooping. Sometimes you got to take that ass whooping to build character. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Boys rather result to guns and shooting and shit, and y'all niggas don't know how to shoot. Y'all niggas ain't hitting your target. You hitting everybody, but who you pointing at? Like, come on, bro. You got to learn how to talk our situation. That's as a man, mm-hmm. especially as a grown-ass man growing up. Bro, you got to learn how to talk our situation. Everybody can't result to no guns. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Before you pick up the gun, man, hey, box it out. Shit, if you can't fight, nigga, just walk away. Nigga, that's simple facts. Nah, you that know is what I'm saying? It's facts. It is facts. Nah, yeah, for sure, for sure. It's nah, I don't know. It's getting ugly in the city right now. You know what I'm saying? We not. We, we, you know what I'm saying? It's, you know, people are trying to blame the Prince family. Well, no, this is going wrong because when rappers come into the city, they're the ones to take responsibility and say they protect the rappers when they come to the city. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The matter you all want to call it chicken in, or they just playing enforcement, or they just, or they really have, or they, they have, or they have a legit business saying they're a security team out here. They failed at protecting the multi millionaire 
a, a rapper, no matter mm-hmm. if it's a birthday party or not, you know what I mean? Everybody mm-hmm. supposed to be at a party safe, especially when, when it's a big name like that. You don't let the Migos come around mm-hmm. and then they unsafe. You know, y'all treat them like regular people. Mm-hmm. I mean, they are regular people, but they was really regular that night. You mm-hmm. went from being a multi-millionaire from, you know what I'm saying? To well, the lady said it started from Fifth Ward to the ball, the ball, um, bowling thing. Yeah, well, see, nobody know about the Fifth Ward yeah, situation. situation. No, you know I don't what I'm saying? About that. All we know that they drove from Fifth Ward to, to the bowling situation. Mm-hmm. What happened in Fifth Ward? Did she uh, relay? Did she say? Yeah, I don't know. I can't remember. See, my, my whole thing about it is, bro, sure, bro. it's like I'm not going to invite you to my party and then have my homies around me and I can't control them. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm gonna let my I'm gonna I'm gonna say, okay, I got somebody that's famous, somebody that got some influence. Hey, you know what? I can't bring my partner right here because he mm-hmm. a wild gun. Mm-hmm. Anything go down, mm-hmm. he might this, you know what I'm saying, take mm-hmm. off and do the wrong thing. I gotta bring somebody who can think. See, mm-hmm. you know, you know, in every situation you gotta have some people who can think and some people who ready to, you know, get down to get down. I can't have the dudes who ready for the get down. With me, and mm-hmm. I can't control them. I gotta be like, you know what, say, bro, mm-hmm. I might need to leave you home and take the other people who can really think and think about the situation. Because nigga, you know, you got that wild gun. He ready to start popping, and you ain't even thinking about the outcome. Cause now the outcome fall back on who? It fall back on me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It ain't falling back on you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Good. Yeah, I mean that that is right, but the whole thing is if you was in that situation and say like you was arguing with somebody and you seen the gun, you seen you seen them potentially pull a gun out and and you already and you you fast enough, you know you you, you know you been going through your gun training and you fast enough to go ahead and, and pop them, would you take that risk to be like, man, I ain't about to get shot? Because I ain't gonna lie. I know how I feel to get shot. Mm, that shit ain't fun. <laughs> shit. I ain't going to lie. I ain't trying to say that. Well, how about, no, I, I, I ain't man, trying to say that the situation right or wrong, but I'm trying to figure out why nobody grabbed his ass and moved him out the way yeah, if yeah. it was that serious. serious. Everybody, yeah, yeah, keeps, everybody keeps saying that, oh, he was just standing there. Like, ain't no way it's that fast. And Quavo yeah. was able to move out the way. Yeah. And you can't move your your uh, your nephew out the way. Yeah. And I can't believe he the nephew. I thought he was the uncle this whole time. No, well, see, you got to think about it like this, though, right? If somebody shooting. You worried about self. That's when your natural instincts come in. I'm worried about myself. I'm not worried about everybody yeah, else. Wrong. I'm getting out the way. It's true. You feel me? Because it's been plenty of times. That's when you that, be selfish. <laughs> well, you know, any dangerous wow. situation, you're going to be selfish in yeah, because yeah. that's the natural instinct Stink. to preserve yeah, your yeah. life. Yeah, yeah. See what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But, you know, I've been to other people's cities, and you know what? I was in arguments and stuff like that. Did my boy, my cousin, mm-hmm. he was like, nah, chill out. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He, had to, he had to tell me, like, hey. You don't need to be doing that because you don't know who this guy is. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And you know, you got you to gotta be like that. Sometimes we too busy, want to have fun. But mm-hmm. see, that's why I don't be smoking no weed and doing all them drinking and shit like that when I'm out in the box. Because guess what? Boy, I learned. Say it off. I learned. I learned, man. When you, uh, uh, what you call it, inebriated and shit like that, you ain't as quick to move. You ain't as quick to react. You feel what I'm saying? But you guess yeah. what? I'm not going to do that around people I don't know. Yeah, See what I'm yeah. saying? Because yeah. guess what? You know, I may be feeling myself feeling good, and, and you arguing with my boy, but I don't know that, you know what I'm saying, what's going on. See yeah. what I'm saying? I don't know how, oh, you know, Takeout got killed, but he might have been, you know what I'm saying? And he might not, he might have been slow to react like, damn, by the time he came to his senses, it's too late. Yeah, being innocent, yeah. but I That's still, I, I, I still feel like it's both parties' fault, and innocent I think that's why nobody's right. saying nothing to, like, go to, send anybody to jail because... At the same at the same time, the police did say he took two different shots from two different bullets. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So that's both that's both mm-hmm. counts fault anyway. Both you know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. at the end of the day, no matter who who is the blame, whatever, it's both of y'all fault. It's, it's y'all fault the y'all man pulled the strap out. It's, it's y'all fault that his your man pulled the strap out. Mm-hmm. And y'all need to take responsibility for it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like that's, I, like that's crazy. That show you the lack of trust. Mm-hmm. Because if I come to my man's stuff, I have to have somebody with me who's strapped up. That showed me I didn't but, really trust the situation. But you gotta look at you gotta look at it too. You a multi you a multi millionaire. I mean, even though if you want to go to the situation, you gotta have somebody like that around at least one. But still though, I'm going to a private event for a guy. It's supposed that, to be private. Yeah, I'm going to a private event with a guy that I know that he got the same net worth, though probably even more. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? And I, if I was comfortable, I wouldn't have to bring somebody that you know what I'm saying. Had they thing on them, you feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. See what I'm saying? If what you about you, Juwan? What about what? You bought, you bought. How many killers did you bring around when you go to a situation like that? Because you, know, you be out there in the streets, you know, doing rap shows and stuff. You had to bring few. more than one killer with you. <laughs> a few, bro. A few. A few. How many? How many? You think is a good number to recommend killers you need to bring? Man, as long as that boy is good with the trigger, bro, that's all you need. 
If you see the accuracy, so you saying one? I don't okay. trust. I don't trust nobody. Okay. I ain't yeah. trust nobody who ain't got no good see, accuracy. That's, that was real, though. <laughs> you may got that gun right. Yeah. And he saw it popping, mm. but you ain't got the training. That's what. So I'm now saying. your heart racing. You scared? You just racing. doing this now. Yeah. You doing this now? Like now he shot your that. man. Shot you. And yeah. you got shot by somebody else. You be like, God damn. I, don't like that do I mean, that. people do need. To, I do. I do suggest people do need to go to the range yeah, yeah, and go to. Like it's that. not even go to the range. Y'all need to go to a fishing gun class because see, yeah. I done went through like high intensity training. Yeah, so yeah. when you going through high intensity training, you gotta realize when you moving around mm-hmm. with your fingers at all time, with your how your hand is positioned, mm-hmm. all that stuff because it matters. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it matters. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I went different. to the range one time. And I was doing it the wrong way. Little guy come out of us, told me how to hold it, and I felt that power. And I was like, "Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It made you feel good. It made you feel hard. But at the same time, you got to realize, like, hey man, if I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I could potentially hurt myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. kill yourself. Yeah, yeah. I thought y'all did hurt yourself. I know when that shit slide back and hit your hands. No, and no, remember the guy showed me how to hold it right below because he said when it come out, it gonna shoot back. Mm-hmm. And if you don't, if you holding the wrong way, it's gonna cut you. Yeah, I'll, mm-hmm. I'll try you know to tell y'all. Y'all won't listen to me out there. You no, know, yeah, never cut me. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, like I was listening to you. my next thing is, uh, mm-hmm. I want, I want, I want to do one of them high intense, like one of them, not an AK, but one of them, them automatics. I know they are illegal in Texas, but I want to. I want, I want to, I want, I want to tell you to do that. Yeah, I want, I want to do one like that. This, this shoot one. You, you can barely go, handle I, the regular. I want to go rent. I want to go rent one nah. to shoot it. Like yeah, nah, nah. yeah, because you know what? Nah. At, at, at the end of the day, dog, it's like this, bro. Mm-hmm. You know, I've been to California with my cousin, and mm-hmm. um, yeah, tell me how the police you, put you down. The nah, police nah, put nah, you nah, down. Nah, nah. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. One he the first person. Right? He first we person. Going to his, we going to, to his, get put uh, down by the law. We going to his boy birthday party. Uh, baby Chuck, right? Yeah. So we walking down the street. Like we coming from there. So we walking down the street. So the, the car stopped. Right? Yeah. SUV. Skirt. Yeah. Dude hopped out with a shotgun. Boom. Where you from? And yeah. it was their hood day. I didn't know it was their hood day because I wonder why everybody was outside on the lawn yeah. and stuff. And they was oh, uh, you know. You no, know, doing a little gang sign hood, shit. Man. I ain't pay attention because, like, when you in that vibe, man, yeah. you learn not to really this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You learn to pay attention, but you learn not yeah. to really pay attention. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And so the nigga hopped out with the shotgun. Boom. Nigga, where you from? Nigga, I said, nigga, I'm from Texas. <laughs> nigga, where Texas at? Where Texas at? I said, nigga, data Texas? Texas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. In Houston, right? <laughs> Texas, so, you know, you know, he asked me all these questions, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So I look at my cousin. He over there laughing. Yeah. Nigga, whoa, whoa. Nigga, that's baby Chuck, brother. Whoa, whoa. Then he did playing with you. I'm like, nigga, I'm from Texas. Texas we don't play like yeah, that, nigga. Like that, yeah. <laughs> we don't play like that, nigga. You, you tripping. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, yeah. you had to learn, like, man, you had to learn. When you in different environments, you mm-hmm. got to have, if I'm going to invite you to my environment, uh-huh. my city, I got to have your back, bro. Yeah. You know sex. what I'm saying? Because guess what? You know, like my first instinct was, nigga, that nigga had that gun on me. I'm looking down the alleyway. I don't know what yeah, down the alleyway, yeah. but I'm, I'm trying to, I'm ready to take off. Take you know off. what I'm saying? When I looked at my camp folk, he's sitting there laughing. So I said, okay, it must be ain't that serious. Yeah, What's it must going be on? That serious, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, you know, that's my whole thing is, bro, you can't holler that, you know, I, I, uh, I'm i the king of the city or whatever you want to holler, bro. And you don't got control of your own people because, yeah, you know, that situation make you look bad, but then your people make you look even better. Yep. And guess what? You know what I'm saying? This if this is one of your men's who beat around you a lot, mm-hmm. and he did this, make sense. Yeah, bro, it's goofy. You can't be around me no more. No more. Yeah, it's true. You know what I'm saying? It's goofy. Yeah. Well, so, to some lighter news, you know, because it's been a lot going on in like news, but Twitter, you know, Elon Musk and walked on Twitter, fired the whole staff. Well, not the whole staff, but I guess damn near the whole staff. Yeah, but yeah. he fired most of the whole staff, mm-hmm. and Twitter blue went crazy. It was seven ninety nine, and we all could have got verified. And guess what? They shut it down the next mm-hmm. goddamn yeah, day. Yeah. No, you know why, right? Nah. Yeah, because everybody was a person. It was people. It I was people. That. It was people buying yeah. Twitter Blue and personating Nintendo and everything. So Nintendo left, and there's a couple of other big companies left because they it's, they not they they verify you paying for just a verification. And you, they just verifying you, but they not they not they really verifying. Checking. They weren't really checking checking. So yeah. now when they come back, I'm telling you, it's gonna be like crypto. They're gonna ask you for your social security number and your your fucking ID and shit. But, why? But you know what? Mm. I, I can't forget that crypto side deals. But I tried to buy Pepsi, okay. right? Okay. Okay. And the dude, you try to buy Pepsi on crypto? Yeah, the crypto website thing we had. Unstoppable domain. Yeah, you try to buy. I, pe- I always try to buy the word Pepsi. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, would yeah. try to buy the, I would try to buy the dot com Pepsi. Right. And they were like, "Nah, you can't buy it." Yeah, because it's, it's already it's already yeah. a big company. Yeah, yeah. And you know that's what I felt like they should have did with Twitter Blue, but they had a bunch of people like Kathy Griffin and all that was personating Elon Musk. That's why she got kicked out. Well, I don't know if she got kicked out, but she got in trouble for it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And um, they had a, Eli Lilly and stuff. They had a dude on there who he was he was pretending that. He was Eli Lilly, right? 
And he said everybody get free insulin. And everybody went crazy over that. And the real account from Elon Lilly had to say, nah, we're not doing that, bro. That's fake. You know what I'm saying? I feel like what Elon Musk is, he's trying to do what everybody else doing tick. Move fast and break shit. And you know what I'm saying? Then we're going to fix it. Like, we're going to move real fast right now, but later on we're going to fix it. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. I feel like that was a test run. You know what I'm saying? See if people were going to pay for it. You know what I'm saying? So now he know you got a group of people going to pay for it. So now he going to come back with something bigger and better. Because, like, too, how you feel about he telling the staff that they got to all come back to the office? Mm-hmm. Um. They, I mean, can't, they can't be mad about that because it's a new boss. It's a new ruling. You know, and that's what happens when you know you, you have a boss and you go to work. You know what I'm saying? Like, stuff like that happens. You can't you can't be mad about it if you was under one ruling and they was like, oh, stay at home. Y'all doing your job well. We happy. They was happy with it. He not happy. So you got to come at the work. Even though that might be inconvenience to you, you're going to have to come at work. Come at the work unless you like super value. If not, go find another job somewhere. There's a lot of other remote jobs besides Twitter. Mm-hmm. You ain't talking about that. I'm talking about like you got to you got to look at like the pay wise. You can find another the, job, probably do what you would. They probably wasn't getting paid the same. I'm not. I'm, I'm gonna tell you like this. I don't feel like Twitter is making that much money because they wouldn't be having all these problems. And I think that's what Elon Musk is trying to solve. Because if he can make Twitter profitable, then he could pay them more. I'm pretty sure they not getting paid enough to be at home. Like say, bro, mm-hmm. you not getting paid enough to be at home. Come on. But you know he gonna have to copy the Facebook model. Or the meta, Facebook or the doing meta, or Facebook the doing bad right now. You hear all the stuff that's going on with them. It been going on. That's why they changed the name to Meta. But even Meta going bad right now. Trying to get better. But I'm just saying, like, how they own multiple apps. He uh-huh. gonna have to buy another app to, to combine with it because Twitter alone can't just do it by itself for its revenue wise. Because you ain't gonna never big it. Because think about it, they don't got nothing tangible. They selling all they got is none of the apps do. Yeah. Well, you you gotta look at Facebook, right? They all sell ads at the end of the day. Yeah. But you know he got more than one company. He got he got he got all these other apps that he combined into one, and that's what I say. He got to have more than one because you know you see it. Facebook is trying to pay for a marketplace and all that, but Twitter. I feel like Twitter got more of a utility value than in all the rest of the apps. Yeah, I think Twitter got a more you more, more bigger user base than anybody. I mean, I feel like Twitter got a bigger user uh, user base, but Twitter is a place to make you think and to make you uh, speak before you think. I mean, think before you speak. Cause you you just can't you just can't write anything on Twitter. I mean, people do they be trolling, but you can't you gotta really configure. You gotta you gotta if you went to school, you gotta really not use your sentences, predicates, and all this you know surface and prefixes. Because you know other than that you just gonna sound like a jackass. Sometimes the world needs a jackass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because you true. know you know everybody try to you know speak before they think, and sometimes you just gotta speak. Cause you know what I'm saying. Cause a person gotta feel you and know where you're coming from. Like I feel like Elon Musk. He was sitting there trolling, saying he's gonna buy Twitter till they actually sued his ass and made him buy Twitter. And he was like, "Damn, I was just bullshit." Yeah, he spoke into existence. <laughs> he spoke in, spoke into existence. Yeah, he was just bullshit at first, and that's why he mad because now he's like, "Damn, I gotta get all these billions back." So now I gotta do stuff and change because, like, I, I felt like Elon Musk was the reason why all these tech companies is firing everybody right now because everybody overhired and they was happy with it. But all of a sudden now Elon Musk, he cut 75% of, I think he cut 75% of his workforce in mm-hmm. Twitter. And now everybody started doing it, firing everybody. I feel like now you you looking at Elon Musk like, oh, no, I don't need all y'all. I can get this man to do three jobs. Why I got you? You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Oh, oh you want to sit around? And, you know, that's, that's what I feel like in any job. When you got a lower paying job, you can't just sit around and chill. You know what I'm saying? You got to get to it. You see, like, everybody wanted to work for Google and Twitter and all the rest of it because you see them sitting on bean bags, smoking weed, mm-hmm. chilling. Like, damn, I want to work there. That's yeah. cool. And they get food, <laughs> coffee every morning and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Nigga, mm-hmm. now, now they got a boss who on everyday deck level, like, hey, bro, I got to get my money back. Uh, you want to sit and chill? Oh you, oh, you must don't want your job. You better get to work over there. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, and I think he only did that because when you go on social media, it, it was a it was a trend going around. With this uh Caucasian lady, and she uh, I think it was LinkedIn. She showed her everyday work. She worked. It wasn't every day, but it was one day how she went to work and how her work life was at work. And it was pretty, you know, it was pretty chill. And everybody's like, oh, that's that's not bad. I go work at LinkedIn, and so a lot of people think these IT jobs, the remote jobs, and stuff is like. Pretty cake, and when they could potentially not be that cake from what people think, because different companies do different things. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But to some more crazy news, y'all want to hear something super crazy? Yeah, what's up? 
Man, it's a woman that went to jail for eating a bat on YouTube or on stream. I'm not sure if it was YouTube, but she she did a mukbang and she ate like two bats. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I see. Man. It was illegal. That, that was that's crazy. What made? That, can you catch a disease from eating a bat? Don't that shit make you sick? Hey man, as they said, man, that's where COVID came from. But man. you know, you know, you got to think about it, dog. If you know how to cook anything, bro, yeah, you know, certain temperatures and stuff like that, uh, you can make it safe for you to eat. But at the same time, I heard like. Asian people, like in China and the other countries, they eat a lot of stuff that we wouldn't eat, like tiger. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I, ain't, I'm like, who eat a tiger? But you gotta put, you somebody got put fear in the tiger. Tiger be eating humans for like forever. Somebody got so tiger, I eat your ass, boy. But you I know, eat you. That's, that'll come back to venture the guns and gunpowder. If we didn't invent that, nigga, you've been back on the menu. Come you on, bro. You seen goddamn Dr. Stone. That's the first thing they trying to get to. Say, bro, we got to get to these guns. Yeah. They tripping. Yeah. They would have whooping our ass. Think about it. A gun, a gun changed the level. Because, like, when they went to Africa and they seen that glowing black skin, they didn't think, oh, we can enslave these people, like, easy. They, you know, you had to put the fear in like, man, we getting ready to go to war. And then I see my man right next to me dropping. I'm like, hold on. They still way over there? How he do that? Is that magic? And mm-hmm. boom, boom, boom. You be like, damn. damn. But you know, dog, you got to look at it, dog, bro. Like, I don't know if she was in America or not, but you know, it's some stuff you just can't consume and then put it on social media and not get in trouble. You feel me? I feel like social media made a lot of people kind of dumb. Who They be putting everything on social media and getting themselves caught up. Like, I don't know how the hell you even catch a bat. Where you get a bat from to eat? I'm t- she Probably from the black market. She probably went mm-hmm. to the black market. Mm-hmm. Don't know how you get that. Is it clean bat? Was it a pet? Like I'm, like I'm saying, how do you get a bat? Like, you I went know. in the cave and caught him. Like, I, don't, I don't know. Was she trying to become bat woman? I don't even think. Who the hell think of eating a bat? Oh, that shit nasty. Yeah. Hey, we got some more sad news. I forgot to t- I forgot to go into this when we went to take off. But my bad, y'all. Mm-hmm. We got three universities of Virginia football players: Devin, uh, uh, Devin, Lavin, Davis Jr., and Deshaun Perry was shot and killed by a former teammate last night. Correction, the suspect was a former university a university of football player, but not a teammate of the three victims. So, we didn't lost three football players last night from somebody that used to go to the school, but not at the school currently. Yeah, that's stupid. Yeah, that's, that, like, uh, that's crazy. That's like, that might be the situation that... Um, that Remember TSU, actually, Juwan? Remember the, the situation with TSU? We wasn't friends back then, right? Nah, I ain't know you. Yeah, when that shooting, when that shooting happened was, on when, campus... I could have went there. Cause I was trying to go get something to eat. So I was gonna go back to my. Um, I was at the cafe- I was at the cafeteria when they shot up. Uh, cause matter of fact, uh, Jordan ex girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Um, she she said uh, she seen the shooting outside her window. She saw when like the boy got killed and all that. I, I was supposed to go there, bro. I was go back to my dorm, bro. But God was telling me, man, nah, go to Chick Fil A because it's cheaper. It's right Chick Fil A. <laughs> like, I was right at Chick Fil A too during like, the shooting off the whole time. I was sitting outside <laughs> the whole time. I was like, and what's the hell? Yep, and that's when I got went back to work. They were saying it was a rainy day too. Yeah, they yeah. were saying like somebody got shot. I was like, man, nobody like got shot. I ain't hear that boo, but it was on the news. I was like, yeah, that's for real. Yeah, but we all, tissue always had a couple shootings though. Yeah, uh, yeah. But they yeah. always be like on the outskirts of the school, not really inside. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They in third wall. I'm glad, man. I ain't went though, man. Probably won't been like you, man. Boo it, bow, man. Say, say, bro. Stop <laughs> playing with me. Saying, Stop man. playing with me. So I was like, man, I'm hungry. Let me go the other way real quick. But yeah, no. Nah, um, that nigga had money. Y'all had Chick Fil A. When I was down at night, nigga, I was over there at Taco Bell. Not Taco Bell. I mean, uh, uh Jack in the Box. Get that ninety nine cent taco. Ninety nine cent tacos. Y'all had that bread. No, we, we had, had that bread. TSU. No, TSU had Chick Fil A. Yeah, Man, you'd be surprised. Chick Fil A is like, I think. I think it's no taxes at TSU. No, nah, it wasn't no Chick-fil-A. taxes. It wasn't no taxes. Yeah, I don't think it's taxes when you buy that Chick Fil A. They ain't tax you, bro. Like they a sandwich over there, it's like five dollars straight. Yeah, they ain't There's tax no you. Taxes I remember that. You buy it. You know what I'm saying? Make a lot of lavish thing in TSU was the goddamn chicken salad. That shit is on point. Chicken salad? Yeah. In the cafeteria. Yeah. And I paid my little $7 and got me a little meal for the day. You know what I'm saying? It was cool, bro. But anywho, back to some lighter news. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I don't want to spoil this, but Juan, it's your fault. What it's that? all your fault. We're going to talk about Black Panther. Yeah, we're going to talk about it. Man, I'm spoiling from No, me. I got to because it's your fault. I told you to go see it. Fuck it, bro. You know what I'm saying? I tried not to spoil it, but. Spoiler alert! <laughs> yeah, super spoiler alert. You know what I'm saying? So, right, 87 Kenny Mac, give me, give me, give me your thoughts, your thoughts and opinions right now. You on the clock? You lose. <laughs> Good day, sir. I felt like it was two different movies, like they combined together. 
Because it's in the beginning, it showed a lot of the the grief and the sorrow with with the matriarch, the mother of the family had to hold the family together, and you know, and, and what she was going through. You know, they gave the woman perspective of you know when they use when they when they lose, a, 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 you know when they lose their son or brother, you know, and they showed the mother and, and the um, sister emotions and stuff like that. Then closer to the end, that's when they really got to action movie. And going through all the uh, the motions, it was a good movie, but I felt like it could have been better. And um, you know, I felt like they they focused too much on the grieving part. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And not enough on the action. You know what I'm saying? You know what surprised me that uh, really that took me. I thought they was gonna make a situation like a scenario, right? They really used the situation like the real. They used the real life situation and put it in the movie. I was like surprised. I was like, oh okay. Mm-hmm. They really gonna say it. they ain't like they didn't say what kind of disease it was, but they really put it in the movie. I was surprised they actually did that. I was like, oh wow. You remember they said in the movie the uh, the dude said he died from a mysterious you know disease they couldn't they couldn't cure. Yeah, but you know that was kind of that was kind of convenient because now now you see why it transitioned into a woman. You know, well you see why she had to step up because like to me in the first movie she was a kid. Mm-hmm. She didn't want that precious of the throne and all the other stuff. No, now she didn't, she, yeah. And now she getting thrown into a situation. Like, yeah, but she didn't want the precious this time. I think she got thrown into a situation. She had to hurt. She had to grow up. The movie we were, I watched, we had to, she had to grow up to get to the point to be like, all right, I'm, I'm going to do this. Yeah. The whole time, if you remember that one part, her mom asked her, hey, have you working on the harsh herb? And she kind of blew it off. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, you get towards it, you kind of, oh, okay, okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I think a lot, I think that movie had a lot, everybody... All the characters we knew from the first one had their own secrets and 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 stuff they didn't want to divulge into certain parts of the movie came. Well, you know, remember when Namor came out the water, her mother was trying to teach her the uh, old school ways of how they do the ceremonies and certain stuff they had to do. Yeah. And they was over there doing a the little ceremony. She was like, do we really got to do this? And then you, and you, and you, you found out she kind of like a non-believer in a sense. Yeah. You know she didn't believe saying? in the um the the plane of the ancestors or whatever you know. She didn't believe in the she, she didn't believe man. the astral plane. She didn't yeah. astral plane when that boy went there the first time when he got um inside that ice. Yeah. Oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah. So <laughs> did he went there the first yeah. inside the ice. <laughs> yeah. uh, but what I did plane. what I did like they try to make this movie semi light. Yeah. With the jokes and stuff, you know, yeah. the bald headed demon that's like the top tier joke of all time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Well, Everybody loved that. I felt like that was a regular black joke they got off the street. We've been saying that. No, yeah, but the, <laughs> but, but but the way, you know yeah, but no, the, but the see, you see, in cinematography, the way he pulled it off so fast, it caught your guard because you know, I think about in the movie, in a Disney movie, to have so much of a like, that was like a black sense of like, you know, what I mean? he's like, who got this bald head demon? He said, and he said it in the carrot. I'm like, yeah, what the hell. Get her out of here. You know what I'm saying? And the oh, thing, that's what he was eating the whole time. It, 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 was, it was like a, it was like a red carrot. Yeah. yeah, I was trying to figure out what the hell he was eating. It was a, it was a carrot. And um, I think this movie showed a lot of, of characterism from all. Like we actually got to see the Jabari's actually like he 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 gave us more of himself in this film than the last. Because the last we just thought he was trying to take over the throne every five seconds. But you remember in the first movie. The Jabaris was the outcast. They were like the hillbilly cousins. You know, they lived in the mountains. And they still the hillbilly cousins. Yeah, because you remember he said it in, oh, the, in this about movie. Old boy. Yeah, yeah. Eight, eight, boy. Yeah, because he, he translated what he said. He said yeah. they called him the way with the feather serpent king or something like that. No, right? the serpent king. Yeah, the yeah, they, yeah. They, called serpent. yeah. They, were like, they were like, how you know that? He like, what? You don't think we got books in the mountains? We got books. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you remember that? Oh yeah, yeah. you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, he like, we got they books they up here. They thought they were just savages. They kind of think they like all muscle, no brain. that's what that's what it is. Cause, Cause you know the Jabora, they like the they like the border people. The, mm-hmm. Like how you got the border people, they go up the plains. Mm-hmm. Jabora, they go up the mountains. Yeah, because they go. I told them, you know what? Since we can't, you know, be king and stuff, we going I'm gonna take my people into the mountains because they the only ones. For as I know, don't believe in um, bad. The pan- they don't believe in the panther god. Yeah, yeah they don't, don't believe bad. They go as a gorilla. Yeah. that's why he got that. They wear that armor, chest and stuff. Yeah. and yeah, yeah, the gorilla. Okay, yeah. Okay. And fun fact: if you read the comics, mm. the kill killmonger come back. And take over the Jabari tribe mm-hmm. and become their king and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But it's kind of weird too because he come and because after he take over them, he go to like Wakanda mm-hmm. and then take over Wakanda and then become like the Black Panther. But I mean, technically, they call him a Black Panther, mm-hmm. but in a sense, he the other animal. Was he a leopard? Yeah, like a like he, a leopard. Or he really come like the leopard king on the shit, but he a Black Panther with gold accents. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But but, uh, but you know, I think they still leave the door open for him to come back. 
And because, you know, the uh, Nambaku said, man, we could have uh, kept, uh, uh, we could have, this wouldn't have happened if we would have kept Killmonger. You know? Now, but this, this is what I was trying to mm-hmm. tell you. The end of the movie proved to you that they could have killed, they could have, they could they could have brought him back. They could have saved Because the same thing happened to him happened to her. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? The only thing, the only thing happened. She pulled it out. She pulled it out of herself, and she just kept fighting. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But she, but but she said it multiple times throughout the movie. Mm-hmm. She has the material to save people. Like when, like when that fish lady's about to die. Oh, girl, fuck that up. She came in the mud, just started shooting people and shit. She's like, hold up, give me my, my bees. We can save her. And she's like, nah, we gotta go. You tripping? You know what I'm saying? And it showed a lot of development because I feel like Neymar. I mean, let's go. Let me, I'm going too fast, but Neymar. Mm-hmm. His introduction to the movie was brilliant. Mm-hmm. I liked it. I'm glad that he was, uh, you know, a different culture. And I'm glad that they took the, I guess, the route they took. Because they changed a lot of stuff, apparently. You know what I'm saying? He he, he, uh, he, had, he a whole different culture than his original uh, character is. And um, they pretty much Hispanics. You know what I mean? Let's keep it like that. Wait, wait, I, I liked it. I like This is the reason why I like it, right? It's because, how, okay, how Wakanda is placed in Africa, right? So now nah, you don't have like a like Atlantis, right? No, know, they, the they, they technically are Atlantis. No, no, no. I'm just saying the DC, right? They white folk under the sea, but you don't know what region they in. You don't yeah. know where they from. They just in the sea. Yeah. But now mm-hmm. you see, like in South America, name more people's in South America. And they pretty much like South American Hispanics, right? Mm-hmm. So now you look at them. They got more of the Aztec look and the Mayan culture, right? right. And they also show you like if if if. You know, you don't have outside people coming in to, to change your culture, develop and change up stuff. Mm-hmm. How you kind of still live the same way somewhat. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. Because ain't but nobody influence you from the outside. But see, that's what they said because it, it makes sense. If you if you go into a whole, let's say a whole new realm, because that's what Tickling did. They went to mm-hmm. a whole new realm, became became the, became the same people in a different region. Mm-hmm. But, but the mm-hmm. thing about it is, you don't have no outside influence. Mm-hmm. But what thing? But what thing? They did not. The only thing I hate that they failed at that they didn't have no influence. But they was building technology under the sea. Who gave them that resource? Who was learning science? You know what I'm saying? Did they have books under the sea? Did they make sea books? <laughs> I need some definition to this. <laughs> no, for real. Because <laughs> like, yeah. like we we understood in the in mm-hmm. the in the in the, in the thing. Namor, he's a hybrid. Yeah, he's the he's the first mutant. mutant. He's the first mutant. That's why he got wings on his feet. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But he can come. He can come to the sea mm-hmm. and come in, in the air, mm-hmm. and and it, and it gets him strength both ways. Well, yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When they when they saved their people, he was pretty much the first. Baby, I guess to be he was, born. He's he the first child. That's yeah. what our boy said. He said. He said. He said. That's why he gonna be king. He said. He gonna be. He said. We gonna enter this new world, and he said, "Your son gonna be our our, our leader." You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But then too, he's like, man, what he like five hundred thousand years old? Brother still and, look and, good. And this and, the, and, the, and this the other part <laughs> I hate. Mm-hmm. They they uh when they show Neymar come out the water mm-hmm. as a child to go bury his mother, mm-hmm. he seen slavery for the first time. That that yeah. shit was a shocker. That nigga like, hold up. Yeah. What is this? People, yeah. he like, I seen my people getting beat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. he killed everybody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then that's like got the Neymar name, you know, child with no love. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But at the same time, they did not explain, like, okay, you went up there and seen slavery and everything, and then you just went back to the sea. Yeah. How, did, was y'all making books? Did, was y'all communicating mm, with the people on, on the was. land? Was, what what happened? Was, you know what I'm saying? What happened after? You know what I'm saying? They just like, they, they don't explain how, how his age work. Mm. We just we the only thing we know is that he co- he, he close to God level because he you know, they call him a God from where, where he from yeah yeah because he he can come out the water and breathe he, he the only one he can breathe and everything he don't need no he don't um, need the oxygen mask, mask. yeah mm-hmm. yeah but you know it's like you got to think about uh like 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 Atlantis right I thought they was gonna do the same thing you know how like 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 uh like in like in the DC movie mm-hmm. how he was busy like that fishing village was kind of like part of Atlantis but they wasn't mm-hmm. because he was always visiting them. Mm-hmm. I thought they was gonna do that with Namor like he always would visit the village or whatever because the woman would say he I always come to the beach at a certain time I guess he was just moaning his mama or something when she died at that certain time mm-hmm. and she said he'll go back into the water and she thought he was she called him the same thing. The serpent god, you know mm. what I'm saying? Yeah, but see, what they don't explain about that is they show you like little Easter eggs and stuff. But see, in the books, he a serpent god, not because he can fly and shit, but actually in the books, he did, he killed like the serpent king or whatever. Mm. I think like under the sea or some shit or whatever. But he killed mm. the serpent king and take his crown. So that's why you see him. He come down. He sit on that that dragon throne thing on his head with the serpent crown because he know he the serpent. He the serpent king. You know, he got like three different names. 
You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But technically, he kind of did. They kind of did the DC thing. You know, he was kind of connected to that village. That's why our girl like, I don't want to talk to you. You tripping? You gonna get me in trouble? You mm-hmm. gonna come out that water and start killing everybody again? Tripping? Mm-hmm. So no, you know, what I'm saying? that's why I thought they should have took that from DC and put it in Marvel. Like the people in the village and the people under the sea was kind of like one the same people. Because like I, I kind of liked it that. He came out like like he like she said, Oh, you know how they was like, okay, let me go back to the queen, right? How about the vibranium, right? And you know, she right now when they were doing a ceremony and he came out the wall, she was like, How you getting here? Then he they had a whole little situation. She had to tell him he covered in vibranium. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he, his like, whole, all, all his stuff, everything he had on was covered in vibranium. That's why I felt like they was the perfect enemy to fight Wakanda because all they use vibranium. Now you got a, a, a another race of people, Hispanic under the sea, they use vibranium. And that's why they can really fight. And and, and this and this other thing I hate why they ain't explain. This why I, I you you brought a good comment about this. You said how uh what kind of this great world and y'all people didn't have no DC divers. <laughs> None of y'all had no DC divers. Cause think about it, he came out the water and he was like, Hey, I heard about a place like this, the L smell good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I got bad things running around everywhere. Hold up. You see, I thought that Hold was up, like baby. a ceremonial. I thought that was like a ceremonial place maybe his mother been to. But then I like, oh no, he from the old, another side of the world. But now, nah, but now nah, he said it. He he said he said anywhere in the ocean. He said he 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 ruled the ocean. He said he can get to anywhere. No matter if it's water up, he can get there. And it made sense why he come out the water and be like, this ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? I, I pass all your forces. All your forces just sit on top. Y'all mm-hmm. not going because at they're the same time, water. but they're not going to his level. Because remember, Sir had to wear a whole suit just to go see the city. Mm-hmm. So you got to think about if you can die. Trying to get to his city just to see his city. Imagine how deep he really going and stuff and searching the, uh, the, the seas. Mm-hmm. No, but you know that's that, this is not what kind of related. But you know they had a whole theory about aliens in the sea a long time mm-hmm. ago that they stay they had such a depth that we don't have the technology to crush our submarines like cans. Yeah. But you know back to that the whole thing is like who said it didn't have? I I didn't like this part right. They didn't show enough of the city under the sea. Name more kingdom. I feel like they should have had, you know, like, okay, you got the people in the water, right? But kind of how they did Atlantis in D.C. How they did have the drop puzzle with allow people to talk and conversate under the sea back and forth, right? You know, they still look like they floating, but they conversate, you know, the CGI stuff. They kind of they kind of did that when he no. hit the staff, and then everybody was speaking like yeah. the language. Yeah. But I wasn't sure because he hit the staff, or was that just a thing? Because remember when no, she went down there by talk. herself, and, they, yeah. and nobody was talking. I was yeah. like, they all on yeah. mute. But, you know, that's when they was all underwater. They was really under there swimming and stuff. But I felt like they should have had like that scene through the whole thing to show the technology. Because I think, okay, they got they got goddamn water grenades. I don't know what the hell that shit was. Oh, water it was like, grenades, it was like a water thing, then that whole explode. But then, yeah, because you remember, like when that little thing hits you, it make a bunch of water come from nowhere. Yeah, and I felt like okay, they gotta have some type of technology. And but you know, it's kind of like Wakanda, right? Wakanda was self sustained They really didn't let a lot of outside influence in. So you really seen what black people can do if we been stayed to ourselves and weren't influenced by slavery and other people around the world. We could see what we could have developed. And for them, it was like the same thing. Because I felt like Namor, he either possibly going to get his own movie or he going to come back or somebody else and they're going to show more of their kingdom and more of the character development. Because like I like the Namor because Namor is really for his people. He was and a badass he, mess. He, he wasn't. He wasn't. He wasn't that, for hey, nobody. He was else. cold. He was. He wasn't for nobody. Else. He was. He low key. He low key took down Wakanda by himself. Oh yeah, bro. Because they did like this. They got to the island. They got to the island. He came out that water. They was like, yeah, the queen that way. That boy said, all right. He started taking down ships and everything. I said, oh shit. Nah, he did the Superman thing. That boy grabbed planes out the sky and threw them to the ground. I'm like, whoa. But you know the crazy thing is, I like Queen Ma- Mawanda. Or, uh, yeah, you saying it right, Mawanda. Yeah. yeah, I like the Queen Mawanda because she showed. Oh, Rwanda. Yeah, she Rwanda. showed like Rwanda. you know in the beginning, right? How the France they sent some special forces, marine type guys to, to take their little uh, to go take their vibranium. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and niggas, you seen like this was the coldest part to me, right? Mm-hmm. So he had the woman. He didn't know the woman was one really one of them. Uh, I can't say it, one of them Dalla Minajes. Yeah, yeah. So she opened up the thing, right? Mm-hmm. So as soon as she opened up the vault, they say, like, "Oh, this what about Brandy man?" She's like, "Yeah." He like, "Oh, yeah, you gonna open it up?" So he opened it up. Mo, uh, b- Mo, b- bald headed women came yeah, out Mo, Mo, ready to no, fight. Dalla Milaje mm-hmm. was back there, you know. What I'm saying? Yeah, Dorma Milaje. Yeah. I think it is. Yeah, know. the guard, the queen guard. You know, yeah, what I'm gonna say that because I was trying to figure like the queen got these dudes and they had this weird ass shit on their head. I'm yeah, they had like shit. mohawks or something. Where they came from? Like a helmet on. Their was head. they on the last movie? 
But you know, they the male version of the Delma and Milaje. You remember Delma and Milaje? They like you know, and they coach. I heard they a real tribe, and I heard mm-hmm. like they the super, they the super forces, they the elite. Yeah, I heard the women in they tribe lead, mm-hmm. and the men is like take a like a back seat. They follow you know pretty much. Yeah, cause like mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. That's why you always like like uh, they had a whole throne throne room scene, and the dude was telling them something, and the dude had some similar thing on his head. You know what I'm saying? But it looked it looked like she she walked in there like a pimp. When she went to the UN meeting, mm-hmm. she walked in there like a pimp. You know what I'm saying? Them dudes I came know. in with the mask on their face, and then they sat from the mic, and they all put it down. And she was like, yeah, you know, she let their ass talk. And she was like, yeah, you know, y'all ain't going to take my vibranium. It's not my turn to talk now. You ain't going to take my vibranium. Mm-hmm. And, nigga, she brought the whole Special Force guys come in. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? No, no. I like what I, I, I like why they did that, because I feel like they're paying for T'Challa's sins. Because T'Challa was trying to, like, Bring everybody together on some weird stuff. Yeah. For, you know, they, they used to go to the meetings. Like his daddy used to go to the meetings mm-hmm. and not say nothing. Yeah, oh, nah, yeah. we just a weak ass village. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. They used to say they was a village. Yeah. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was a village. Like, yeah. They was a poor yeah. country. They thought yeah. the people and, that was starving and, 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 and they yeah, wasn't. Yeah. A, they wasn't. It wasn't a poor country. No, and they wasn't. revealed everything. Mm-hmm. But it showed you how Americans are and other how the how how surface people world is on Europeans. How 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 people in the world can be. You know what I'm saying? And how it can be is that. Even though we they, they make an agreement with you and say, hey, well, you could be friends, you could be a part of the party, you could be a part of this, mm-hmm. but really try to backstab you and send their own people to come take from what's, what's yours. Mm-hmm. And it made me think about some of these battles we fight in the real world. Are we really fighting against outside force? Or are we fighting against each other? And it could be the same thing. But as I go on, mm-hmm. it just show you that she, uh, like my brother was saying, they send a team in, mm-hmm. they wipe, they, they, they kidnap the team, and mm-hmm. then they, and the thing about it is, they let them say they peace and did all the talking, but then they brought the proof to the pudding. Like, say, yeah. y- y'all say y'all want me to play ball. Y'all mm-hmm. say y'all want to be this, but y'all not respecting my rules and regulations because yeah. for thousands of years, we told y'all, y'all cannot touch this by brain. Y'all can't have this because mm-hmm. y- it's been proven that y'all can't be trusted with it. Mm-hmm. Nah, she you told them that. She mm-hmm. told them that. She was like, you know what she, was, she was, what mm-hmm. she told them? She told them some fly ass stuff. She told them, she was like, she was like, she was like, I don't trust y'all with she said, well, she said basically she didn't trust them with the vibranium for what they will do with it. You know what I'm yeah, saying? True. Yeah, true. And but but the thing is, I like the body deals. Like my bro was getting there is, man, think about it. Mm-hmm. Anybody that look like us, they crushed. Mm-hmm. So now you got a force that who look like us, you can't crush. Mm-hmm. They're not used to that in history. No, they're not. You're not used to that in history at all. Man, hold on. Anybody look like you, we stuck to the ground. Yeah, yeah. We shoot you, we kill you, do whatever we want to you. Yeah, but yeah. now we got these people right here who look just like you people. We can't stump. And I like that whole thing is when they open up that vault and try to get the by brain in them, the dog the legs came in, mm-hmm. they had one girl had knives. She had some like some glowing knives. Mm-hmm. And then she cut up the guns and stuff. They didn't have no shoo shoo bang bang. Nigga, they had some stuff that was cutting through guns and stuff. And I'm mm-hmm. like, they, they still, like, oh. they, they still using traditional weapons yeah. with effects, but yeah. They doing their job, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And at the same time, it just it just it's, it just show you that you know what I mean how people can backstab you and do it and do whatever. Man, and that's why that's I felt watching this weekend. And that's why <laughs> and that's why I felt I'm like uh, Shuri took it upon herself to be like, "Say, bro, mm-hmm. I'm not gonna." I mean, she should have killed him, but I understand. I mean, I, if you read the books, technically, she if she tried to kill him, she could have killed him because he, yeah. he he's supposed to be a god, like he's supposed to be on god level. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But you know, you gotta remember. When you look at the movie, the movie is like a hybrid. It's a mix between what they thinking in the movie, what they thinking of the, the writers, and a little bit of the comics. Yeah. They're not putting 100% of one thing into it. They were like, okay, yeah. we can take this, we can do this, do this. But you know, the whole thing is, she's supposed to be a, a, a bridge between, you know, she's supposed to be the new school of Wakanda, the new kids who believe more in technology, not the old traditions. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. That's why when old boy said, when she went and did the, the harsh shepherd, she took the thing, he said, hey, little cousin. She was like, oh, shit, who are you? Nigga, where she, the she hell looked at, She looked at him like the devil. <laughs> oh, yeah. shit, the devil here. Mm-hmm. But you know, that's that's my favorite character, Killmonger, because I felt like he was like the American cousin that they didn't respect. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. didn't mess with. Like, oh, yeah, you know, we know you our cousin, but we don't mess with you like that. You crazy. Nah, nah. You know what and what the man? thing about it, yeah, because, you know, he had the numbers under his lips and all that stuff, so he was wanting it for sure, for sure. Mm-hmm. But, nah, it, 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 it showed you, it, it showed you just because Killmonger, t- it showed you nothing. Killmonger took over the crown, mm-hmm. and everybody didn't really fear him, but it was like, damn, if we didn't get rid of Killmonger, we could have had another king because we didn't know this was going to happen yeah. to yeah. him. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And mm-hmm. I think if Killmonger came in there with a, Maybe a lighter mind. 
Yeah. <laughs> we were all right. We had yeah. another one or something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't yeah. really think so. I think Killmonger was on a mission. He was consumed by hate and, you know, hatred and stuff. Man, like he's about that. to go kill America. Yeah. Yeah, bro, he no, he wasn't America. Yeah, bro. He said around the world. He said he was conking the world. No, exactly. You know what I'm saying? That boy said, well, I got spears that can and take down tanks, and I got rhinos with, with, with vibranium I, on. I'm like, this boy I, got a rhino. I feel, I, yeah, I, I, I feel like this. They should make a cartoon dedicated to Killmonger, and it should be like Killmonger's wildest dream if he succeeded, like the revenge plan movie. Oh, okay. If we see what, what, what was going to really happen, what could have happened. Yeah. Yeah. They did that already. They did that they mm-hmm. on Disney Fix. Yeah. What else? On what if, for real? He won. Did he win? Yeah, he took over. I think he did took over, yeah. yeah he took over, but he oh, hit look the at robots. Me. I don't he watch. hit the robots. But you uh-huh. know what, what pissed me off is? Yeah, he took over. Okay, man. this is why I like the first movie better than the, the second one. Yeah, bro. Because they had animals fighting, bro. How the they hell did. you got How the hell you got whales? They did. But you got this big-ass ship. I'm thinking in my bro. whole head, the whale going to hit the ship and knock over the ship and shit. Like, nigga, we got whales. It's going to knock all y'all in the water. Mm-hmm. I'm sitting there thinking like, okay, they fighting in Wakanda. Mm-hmm. Where the rhinos at? I'm thinking like, hey, them boys coming out the water fighting. I'm thinking the rhinos was gonna come running through. I thought they were gonna no, cause, no, because they was in the middle of the city. Remember the rhinos was on the, the outskirts and stuff yeah, on the no, side. They're saying like, you got the Jabari there. Where the goddamn gorillas at? Son, it, it don't matter. The Jabari, you saw after he punched no, uh, no, no, old boy. No, 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 I felt like I felt like that would have been a better movie. You would have actually had some animals. They can fight. Cause look, old boy, nigga, like when that boy hopped on that horn on the first movie, uh, old girl husband. He there, mm-hmm. no, 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 and they all come running. Mm-hmm. You know, the nigga hopped on the and back of the line on running through. I'm like, damn. This and nigga I, got I was, I was mad about, <laughs> I was mad about that because they did old girl wrong. No, the bald headed demon. They did her wrong <laughs> because I feel like, hey. She went and really tried to protect the princess, but mm-hmm. she got her ass whooped. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You 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 can't lose your job because you got your ass whooped. You, know, you got to look from a parent's perspective. You know what I'm saying? Because like then she wasn't really doing her job. Now, because she begged the queen to take her. And the queen said, okay, you're not my employee. You're my friend. And you took my kid and lost my kid. So if you think from a parent's perspective, if somebody took your kid and then all of a sudden, oh, man, your kid got kidnapped. Nigga, you're going to be pissed the fuck off. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You ain't. You got to think about a parent perspective. You ain't. She ain't thinking about. Oh, this is my queen. That's my home girl. You lost my. You lost my daughter, and my son just died. Mm-hmm. Like, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? The queen was hurt. You know what I'm saying? And I felt on that because, like, man, think about it. If you losing one of my kids, man. I'm gonna be pissed off. You know what I'm saying, nigga? Hold on, you said you was gonna take them to the mall and bring them right back. I ain't take them to no goddamn mall. You know what I'm saying, nigga, you oh no, no. You know what I'm saying? I know now. I don't care, y'all. Y'all ain't hang with me. You know y'all saying? can't hang with Uncle what B, man. All right, man. So, um, you all right? That can cool anything. You said uh-huh. what? That can cool anything. Oh, he trying to end the podcast. Yeah, he trying, trying to, to go. Podcast. I'll try to go, man. Mm-hmm. All right. We did little spoilers, man. But you know, though, I liked how the two is. They prove how strong the queen can be. Absolutely. And she sat them from the world. She let them talk. They know. Absolutely. And then she brought them boys in and made them get on their knees. Yeah, I, 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 right, I, I, feel, okay. I feel like mm-hmm. at the end, before she got murked, she should have came out of the Black Panther armor. Like, man, come on, we got to fight, nigga. Okay, I feel like this, she should have did that. another thing, too. They didn't develop... You know, Wakanda hard enough because, like, old boy, Namor was trying to crack that uh, the, the glass, right? And she was sitting there looking. I'm thinking my whole head that when the glass breaks, she's going to have some type of force field type thing around him or something like mm-hmm. that. Like, nigga, you still can't get through. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That boy came through with a grenade and blew her ass up. And I'm like, and they thought he thing. lived. I'm like, why they yeah. thought he lived? I, they should have took off. Why y'all yeah. thought this fool lived? He could fly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, man, we're giving up again. Too many spoilers, too many thoughts. It's a good show. You know, it's the Braggadocious Podcast. You know, big up to you know, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. Big up to Take Off, you know, R.I.P. Mm-hmm. You know, big up to Matches Matt for doing his thing. Big up to the Astros, you feel me? Hey, hey, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, Hey, this is a Bracket Us podcast. It's, you know, Big Bigger Brother podcast. And, you know, they're going to have a podcast later on today. And we're going to connect that. And, hey, you're going to be some more, you know, to come to here. Because this podcast went left, right, sideways. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, Nino over here said he got to go. He got his braids all tight. Mm-hmm. Baby Mama Carl, he got to go, man. I ain't going to baby one more. Any last word, you know, 87 uh-huh. Kenny Mack. Out. Baby, out. All right, we out then. Already. Break a dose, 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 break a dose